I'm being triggered very badly by the pressure I'm under to make this move. Um, talking to my friend in the other city is not helping. She's, uh, she's really good at triggering me when I'm already stressed. And she is not hearing that I'm having a great deal of difficulty locating any housing, let alone housing that I could afford in her city. I uh, hadn't been looking for housing because I didn't have a telephone for a couple of months. The first month I couldn't afford it. Then you guys started making donations and I could afford it. But you see, this is a rural area. Mail is not delivered to street addresses. It's delivered to post office boxes. However, because I'm in an RV park, I'm not considered a, a permanent resident here and I would have to pay for a post office box and I can't afford to. Uh, minimum rental is six months and I don't plan to be here that long anyway. Um, so my mail is being delivered to my friend's house in the other city. However, I tried to renew my magic check. It's this, uh, let me see if you can see it. It's this little box that goes on your telephone and plugs into the USB of the computer and it wouldn't accept my payment because of the street address. Well, you have to call your bank. Well, I don't have Magic Jack, so I can't call the bank. I ended up having to go to the Radio Shack in town. Unfortunately, they did have a Magic Jack, which would cost, it cost me $10 more than it would have just to renew. But I now have a telephone so that I can make free calls over there because they're all long distance. But I've been looking at places all morning, and there's nothing. Bachelor apartments, which are studio apartments, one-room apartments, are $500 plus utilities. I'm going to now start researching RV parks. I'm terrified that I won't be able to find housing. If I have the job, there's a guy out there who's got pads for rent. Uh, on, they're in rural spaces. The pads have hookups for all utilities. It's 300 a month, and then I would pay utilities on top of that. If I get that job, I can do that if he's got any for rent. If I don't get the job, I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to live in that town. I haven't given notice to the landlady. We haven't had our conversation yet. We're going to have it tomorrow because I don't know what to do. Now, uh, some of you that I trust, if you will, private message me off list people that I really know if you could help me with searching for places I will tell you where where this place is where this town is so you can help me start looking for places to live but I'm terrified this is really triggering me it's triggering the PTSD last year I was um, robbed and stranded twice in less than a month and a half by the time I got to this RV park I was completely exhausted my goats are gone, my chickens are gone, I lost a lot of stuff, somebody had pointed a gun at me and then they started stalking me both on the internet and here in town. I've got friends on Facebook and stuff that can corroborate this. I've been treated with so much viciousness since I got here. And so I'm really triggering and I'm really stressing and I'm really having panic attacks and sometimes I just get up and I'm so glad I have the truck, I just get up and I go leave. There's no place to go. There's I can't afford to buy anything in town and I don't know anybody and there's it's not like I can go someplace quiet and sit down inside in a nice air conditioned place and rest and I can't afford to drive to the next town and but sometimes I just gotta get up and get the hell out of here. Um and then the other day I ran a few errands and I was wearing this dress which has I don't know if you can can I show you these pockets? They're not normal pockets. They're not over here on the side. They're like here in the front, but down by my lap. Um, and they worry me because I'm afraid stuff will fall out. Well, I was running around doing errands, and one of my errands was a gas station. Now, I have a locking gas cap, so I have to have my car keys, my bank card, and then the gas cap. And I put my bank card in my pocket, and I forgot. And two days later, I went to the store, and I didn't have my bank card. I tore my truck apart, I tore my uh, my purse apart, I went to every store in town that I'd been to, I called the police, nobody had seen my bank card, and I got home, 
And I, I finally, fi I was thinking about calling the bank and saying, stop my card, but how would I get a new one? They won't mail it here. It would be mailed to the other town, and I, 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 it's $50 gas money minimum to get there. So how would I get the new card? And it would take weeks. Well, I got in here, and I started trying to remember, trying to remember, and you know when I'm scared, I can't remember. That's a brain injury thing anyway, and then triggered by the PTSD and the panic. And you guys had donated money, and if one of these thugs out here had gotten a hold of my card and emptied out my account, so hanging on the uh, bathroom door right there was this dress. And I finally, I kept, what was I wearing? What was I wearing? What was I wearing? And I finally said, oh, yeah, the black and white dress. And I went and I looked, and my bank card was in the pocket. It was a nightmare all morning. Wasted a lot of time and a lot of energy. So, no, I can't afford to get into these uh bull sessions with these, what are they called, fanboys, um, putting me down and insulting me for having behavioral health challenges, or that fluffy troll, well, why haven't you gotten it together, and you're an e-bagger, and you're not really disabled, and I can't do all that, I need support, I need moral support, I'm scared. Now, my friend's going to meet with the board this week about that job. She asked me this morning, well, what, what should I tell them? Because you're not here. And I said, well, tell them I'll be available by mid-July. Earlier if I can make it. I'll be, I'll be available earlier than that for training. But as a full-time employee by mid-July. If I have the job, it'll be easier for me to find housing. But there's no housing out there. I see people on Craigslist and stuff begging all the time, please, do you have a room for rent? I've got a job starting. I'm a nurse. I'm a teacher. I'm a this. I'm a that. They can't find housing. They can't find housing. What's a toothless old head like me in an RV going to do? I'm going to need a lot more support. The thought of having to continue to live here. I suppose I could move to Albuquerque. It's really expensive. Even RV parks are really expensive. It's a radio station. I could be back in radio. And I could use the studio space to produce news reports that could air on the radio station. And then I could turn around and sell them to, like, National Native News and Native, not Native America calling, uh, Latino USA and Free Speech Radio News and Pacifica. And I could turn around and sell my news reporting and have a quiet studio without dogs barking and freeway traffic and semis and hail on the roof today. I'm so close. So if anybody can help pitch in, and I don't have enough money, by the time I pay for gasoline and so on and so forth, I think that I will only have about a thousand dollars. I don't know if that's enough for first, last, and deposit on a place to live, plus the deposits on utilities. I don't know if I can do this, plus the gasoline to drive out there, plus paying somebody the gasoline, even if they do it for free, to drive my camper all the way out there. It's not enough money. I can't afford to move out. So I could save money, where would I go, you know? I've got to keep level-headed, and I'm here all alone. And, you know, I think my friend is an Aspie. I think she has Asperger's, and she just doesn't get it that sometimes what she says and does freaks people out. And she can really trigger me easily. She means well, but it's not just her. It's the whole thing. It's a lot of pressure. I'm having to make a lot of scary and risky decisions again. I'm tired of having to move and move and move and move and move and not be able to harvest my garden and not be able to put down roots in the community. I'm tired of it. I need a safe, decent place to live, and I really need that job. I need to. I need that on my resume, you know, assisting with operations at a community radio station. I need that on my resume.
I don't have anything else to say. Thank you.